tank full of gas leaks. Yeah. What's going on guys, welcome back to Living Life Fast and today we're finally going for the first drive in my M140. So she dynoed, 880 brake horsepower, so as you can imagine she's a bit lively, rear wheel drive in an M140. I don't think that's a good combination. Oh, look at the boy. Man like Oscar. Bruv, she's looking sick. When did you get her? Uh, last week, mate. Last week, yeah? Yeah, straight from the dealership. Fucking bro, she's beautiful. 23. <laughs> I don't know, where was that, Spud? Where was that, mate? Let's go again, yeah? So as I say, Shadow Edition, 22,000 miles on the clock. It's a full service history car. I paid 27,000 pounds for this car. It's got a fully built engine, uh, Williams Performance, pistons, rods. We also have a Cobb Developments, uh, G35 900 turbo kit. Let's get the bonnet up so you can have a little look. We also had the TRE CS style bonnet. That was obviously done by Jack at Auto ID. So have a look at the engine base. She's pretty clean, man. She's not, she's not too bad. We've got the breather catch can. We've got the Cobb developments, manifold, G35 900 hiding down there. Turbo Smart wastegate. We've got the RK Auto Works V1 inlet manifold. Door stage two fuel pump. Precision stage three low pressure fuel pump. We also did uh, 1050 cc ID injectors. And as already mentioned, it's a fully built engine, so these engines can do like 900 to 1,000 horsepower, no problem at all. She did know that Tom Wrigley's uh, did 880 horsepower, so just under 900 brake. We did have an issue with the gearbox. It didn't destroy itself, but we still replaced it. The AA it couldn't do it basically. There's no mods to the box. For the record, uh, these come with a HP50. We upgraded to a HP70, which you'll find in like a 335D. It's a nice cheap alternative. Ideally, you want to build the HP50, which obviously costs a little bit more. So yeah, what else have we got? Yeah, built engine, G35 turbo kit, all the fuel has been upgraded, uh, port injection. Obviously we have to run ethanol if we want to run the full power. So low boost was around six, 650 horsepower. High boost, call it about 850. It's a clean body, we've got the Remus back box, the Zero body kit, side skirts, diffuser. This was all done with Jacka Auto ID. We sent it to the auto works. We had the tinted headlights, had tints all around. The car was d badged We've got the black M badges up front. Shout out to man like Sambo for the registration. B19 LLF, big LLF and that. Tell them, Spud. They don't know, bruv. Also, Sambo hooked man up with the Pro Tracks, 18 inches all round. R R semi slicks. We've got a bit of sun today, so we might get a little bit lucky. Might get a bit traction, but let me tell you, this car on low boost is like so unsafe. Rear wheel drive. I've said it many times about these ML40s, but. They are literally based on a lower spec model one series. It's literally just a three liter engine with probably different suspension, wheels, brakes. Apart from that, you've got to do a lot of mods basically to get this car feeling right. So this car has had the, I think they called it their dynamic package. It had the Bilstein B6 dampers. It had their custom springs, also a Quave limited slip differential. So this car definitely handles a lot better. The car was sat a little bit high with the custom springs. I don't know, man, I'm not sure if it was a bit, you know, the M140s are a bit floaty anyway, but basically we ended up sending it to Motec to put their lowering springs on. The car is obviously a little bit harsh around town now, but feels a bit more planted. I think I already mentioned, yeah, Remus back box. Interior wise, what else did we do? Yeah, you can see we've got the M3 style mirrors. You guys don't care about this, but look at the interior. It's a nice clean car. Footwells are a bit dirty, but look, we've got all the carbon fiber. Uh, grab handles, the gear selector, handbrake. So guys, let's do first drive. We'll run low boost, which is just Shell 99 run. We get back and then we put some ethanol in the car and then we do the full boost. So I'm actually a little bit scared. You know, there's a lot of people running four wheel drive. You've got Meza, you've got Tom. So that is a possible mod that we may need to do to this car. Anyway, let's go. Go champ, we are running pump fuel right now. I think I already mentioned in the intro, six, 650 horsepower is what Tom told me. We've got 19 liters of ethanol, E112. Quarter of a tank, throw 19 liters and we should be about an E50 mix is what I've been told. So I've still not driven this car on full boost. I'm excited to see what it's like. If it's anything to go by what it's like on pump, it's dangerous as hell anyway. You hear how it sounds like to me, it sounds like a Toyota Supra. It sounds insane. The uh, temps build up a little bit. But that just sounds sick. That, we sound like we're in a 2JZ right now. 
So the way you ideally want to drive this car is probably traction half on, half off, MDM, whatever you want to call it, and uh, put the transmission in uh, S mode. Put it into sport mode. Don't like that. Oh, oh man. Quick spooling as well. We went with a G35 900 versus 1050. Bro, we're on pump, like, I don't know, bro, like, ethanol's just going to be dangerous in this. Although this 900's a quicker spoiling version than the 1050, like, bro, the, the power is, is completely different to stock, man. The power's all way further up the RPM. <laughs> This car's been gone for so long, I'm like, I ain't keeping it. But now I'm in it, I don't know how I can just get rid of it. know that this is nice on pump you know sounds ridiculous getting a bit of heat into the tires as well so she's starting to feel a little bit more planted on the rear On pump is in the wild. Oh, me. I don't know if you lot can see the road right now, but it's literally soaking. Ah, oh, why is. Bro, that side of the road's clear, but this side isn't. Sakes. I come here, thought we'd get a nice little. Bro, it's like. Might as well have just. Motorway. Man, she sounds naughty. Fuck yeah, now. <laughs> I forgot how fast it is just on pump. No meth, no nothing. Like, don't get me wrong, when I got this car back originally, I was running meth so you can run a bit more power. Um, but we've just thrown the meth away now, and if we want full booze, we just throw ethanol in. Bro, you know what? I swear to God, it's been a fail trying to film the last couple of days. Holy shit. Oh, it's ruining man's first drive, man. So if we. I mean, let's see what happens. Yep, spinning. Yeah, fuck that. Quave bits done, the Quave LSD. It's 
actually, you know what, once there's some heat in the tyres, it's really not that bad. Let's flatten it. Wow. <laughs> I bet I'm liking this. Right, so guys, we've had a quick pit stop and we've thrown in some ethanol. Throwing out different types of bangs now. We'll jump on the motorway in a sec. But yeah, I can already feel, definitely feels that little bit quicker. <laughs> that was like an extra. <laughs> you know, it's all over the road. Literally all over the road. <laughs> right. Let's see what she's like then with some fucking ethanol in. I'm telling you, it's peak. Forget this car. Forget this car. I know you all like, yeah, Ricky, man, you gotta come race, man. Bro, fuck that. This is a little baby thing, man, done. I'm not even trying to gas it up or take the piss. Bro, this has been a throw together build. Let's go flat. Oi. No, okay. She's uh, a lot more lively now. Gearbox seems like it's having a bit of a hard time. I mean, it's nuts, isn't it? Like, this is the, the, the modern day 2JG, 100%. You've seen these cars in America, people ain't even opening these engines and they're doing like, a thousand horsepower i mean i don't know there's a lot of technicalities like you know some people do like pistons rods but then they class it as not built in bro it's all a bit techy in america but this b58 bang for your buck bro you can pick up one of these engines for two three thousand pounds so it's not like the end of the world if you lose your engine so if you want to keep running i mean bro two three thousand pounds a lot of money like but an s58 is going to probably be more than double that you know GTR engine, can you imagine a GTR for the GTR? Wow. Now what an animal. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, look, we're just on the motorway with ethanol, it's not lumpy, it's not making any funny sounds. The the, the, the bombs come from the exhaust are completely different with ethanol in. It almost sounds like a oven underneath there now. It's literally cooking. Yeah boy. Nice. That's some nice power, man. <laughs> she is nice, man. She drives pretty nice. Just feels soft, and when you drive an M car, it feels a lot more planted. You get a bit more weight, so it kind of tricks you into feeling maybe it's got more traction. Obviously, we have got skinnier tyres. <laughs> is this car now I'm probably running an extra 200 horsepower in ethanol whereas with the GTR compared to pump which was a thousand horsepower when I threw ethanol in we're talking a 500 horsepower difference just for medium boost just throwing in ethanol so you can imagine the difference was just huge got a Taycan behind on your marks 
get set. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> Might go in the left lane like, yo, fuck that shit. <laughs> Bro, do you see my laugh? Know what time it is, isn't it? Because she's rear wheel drive, it just feels that bit more playful. Like when I drove Tom's uh, X Drive MR40, the power felt tame. Like it's probably, oh, well, this car's quicker than this. I think it did a low 400, 200. This car did a 47 spinning. There's more in this. If I want to take the piss, I can definitely push this, but I uh, need a new gearbox. I need to do a pure stage, one or two gearbox at least before trying to send this anymore but still debating on what to do with this m140 it's way more drama which is why you've seen some of the boys go x drive that is definitely the way forward with these m140s 100 percent anybody considering uh, doing one of these projects, I would recommend doing it, man. Like, bro, this is the kind of, like, the performance you're getting from your M140 is genuine supercar rivaling. Don't get me wrong, you've got to be a good driver, you know? It can get hairy. It can get very hairy. Oh, no, that's not it is. We haven't even got it. It's four plus. I think that's why it's fucking around with the gear shifts. That's what it's like now. man you hearing her probably cutting up like sounds like shit's getting ripped apart Some of you an idea if you've got an M140, forget all the extra mods I've done, like suspension wheels. You need to do wheels and tires if you're going to do a build like this anyway. But without a built engine, you can do all of this for like under 10 grand. Do you know what I mean? You've got a seven, eight hundred horsepower M140, and of course, depending on who you get tuned by, uh, will depend on how far they want to push the engine. Of course, you're never going to get warranty, but you know, if you're going to start pushing to the 800 horsepower mark on a stock engine, you are risking blowing the engine. Look, transmission's running like normal. HB70. I think I've already said, ideally, you do want to build the HB50. I guarantee with a HB50 build, I'd pick up two, three temps, 100 to 200. That's how slow the shifts feel on this. It'd probably also encourage a lot more wheel spin, having a faster shifting box. Like, I can feel the tyres keeping me on the ground, but the body's twisting. <laughs> the body's twisting away from the tyres. She just twists from the front. Like.
Alright, so guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Obviously, M140, she's level, she's quick. I really did enjoy that first drive. That was genuinely the first time driving it with ethanol. And um, that is probably just about, just about usable on the street. I mean, if you want to call that usable. Generally, I would transition to some like Mexico runs. I'll probably hit Santa Pod, maybe some half mile racing. But I feel like the M140 is not complete. I feel like there's more to do with this car. There's absolute levels to this B58 game, especially following all these Americans, man. Like this is, this is nothing. I know just quick, bit of a, bit wild in these small UK roads, but to the rest of the world, this is, this is like, this is, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm in two minds on what to do with this M140, whether to mod it more. Give me some ideas in the comment section on what you think I should do to the car and also what else you'd like to see me film with this car. But anyway, you join me on the motorway. I'm en route to Hackney to film a secret project, which I've not announced to the channel. This is gonna be, I'm gonna say it right now, it's gonna be one of the fastest cars in the country. I'm excited to announce it. Also, shout out to man like Tom. Wrigley performance. Officially, the world's fastest M140 just went even faster. 3.6, 100 to 200 kilometers. That's the fastest B58 powered car thing in the UK. Also fastest quarter mile, 9.24 seconds. Anyway, see you next time. Right or a left turn, Lamborghini made the heads turn. Enough fuel for the next journey. Man's wheel spinning, got the heads turning. Exhaust smoke like a fire burning. Just bought a bit, my man's buying German. Halfway I want, didn't buy a permit. Wanna join the team, then buy a jersey. Full tank full of gas leave.